I am replacing the lift on my Toyota Tacoma. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, that's right. I am going to replace the lift on my Toyota Tacoma, and I'm replacing it with another ready lift. But this is a suspension lift. It's what I'm going to kind of refer to, I think, as a suspension hybrid lift. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. First of all, what am I going with? Well, it's called a three inch front, two inch rear SST lift. Now it's a kit that includes Bill Stein 6112 coils or a coil over, I guess. So it includes the Bill Stein 6112s as a front strut assembly with a half inch top spacer built in. No compression required for this. It's kind of a spacer that's built in in the coil that goes over the strut. Now, also included in the kit are uh, differential drops and of course some rear spacers. So what does the SST stand for? It's a registered trademark of, uh, of ReadyLift and it actually stands for Smart Suspension Technology. We'll find out how smart it is, I guess. Ready Lift calls it a middle ground lift between a leveling lift and a big lift kit. So kind of something in between just a block and spacer and a full suspension lift. The SST, they say, is engineered to provide between a two and a half and four inch lift. And that's part of the reason why I'm going with this in particular, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, now, that of course is in the front, and as I mentioned, it includes a rear block spacer, which is two inches, hence the three, two, or you could go four, two, I guess. Um, they say it allows you to run a plus one larger size tire, plus one as compared to the leveling lift. So you can go with a bigger tire with this setup. Now, I am also gonna go with the Bilstein, or Bill Stein, depending on how you pronounce it, um, shocks in the rear. And that'll be, of course, or of course, in addition to the two inch blocks. So, I mentioned before about this being, uh, or having the capability of lifting between two and a half and four inches. And that's really why I decided to go with this setup. I think it's an awesome idea. I like how the spacers are incorporated into the coil over or the coil. And I wanted at least a three inch lift. Now, Originally, I had looked at keeping the spacers and putting Bilsteins on the front, but Bilsteins alone, even the adjustable ones, are only capable of a two and a half inch lift. Well, that wasn't going to get me to my three inches, and I didn't want to go backwards, right? Now, I, like I said, I could have put them on in addition to the spacers, but then still, I just didn't feel comfortable with that, you know? And once I saw this ready lift option, this what I'll call hybrid, um, I had to go with it. I was sold. Now, why am I doing this, you know? I've talked before about the block and spacer lift being an awesome option, and I really think it is. But the problem is the tires that you put on it and what kind of a ride you're gonna get from those tires in conjunction with the stock coils and struts and shocks that you already have. Now, I know there have been plenty of people out there who have gone with that setup and have no issues and you're lucky because I have not been one of them. I didn't have any big problems on my other truck on the 2018 Tacoma with the same setup, different wheels and tires, but I did have those on this truck too in the beginning. Um, but in this truck, I just don't like the ride. Um, it's rough, which you know isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it's not horribly rough but I still get a bounce. And the other day I took both Krista and my mother out, Krista's my wife, um, to kind of get their feeling. You know, did they notice this, this bounce in the truck? And that's what I'm really trying to correct is this bounce. So we went for a ride on different roads, you know, smooth roads and rougher roads. And in particular, the one road that I really noticed this on. And uh, right away, they both said that, yeah, they noticed this, they could feel it themselves. And strangely, and I noticed this too, when we actually went over uh, on another road that is really very smooth, 
the bounce was actually worse. Now, let me say first off that I don't want you to get the wrong idea that when I'm talking about bounce, I'm talking about something crazy, right? Because I'm really not. The bounce isn't so bad that you're flipping all over the road. I mean, it, it's nothing like that. It was before I changed the wheels and tires to what I currently have now uh, on the truck out here. But it's nothing like that. It, it was much improved as soon as I changed the wheels and tires, but it's still there. And you know, while we were driving around, of course, hanging from my phone holder was my mask. You know, the N95 mask with the rubber bands that go around your head. And that's a really awesome way to visualize, I guess, what's going on in the truck. Because since they are rubber and they do give a little bit, you could actually see the real thin rubber straps that are on that mask bouncing up and down in conjunction or in alignment with the bounce that I have in the truck. Now, a few people have mentioned to me, well, have you, have you had the tires balanced? I've had the tires balanced twice um, and since at two different places. And since I had the same issue with the other wheels and tires, uh, I think it'd be a pretty uh, huge coincidence if both places that I took the, the truck to to have it balanced didn't, weren't able to balance rather the tires, um, both of the sets, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I don't believe it's anything to do with the balancing on the tires. I think they're fine. I think that I am just at the limits with the, the lift that I have now and my particular setup. Again, it doesn't mean that if you were to go with uh, this on your truck and, uh, and of course have a little bit different setup. I mean, everything is a little bit different, right? Nothing is produced exactly the same that you might have the same problem. So who knows? So that's kind of why I'm doing this. I'm looking to, to get the best ride possible that I can out of my truck so that I can enjoy it to its fullest potential. I mean, I don't like going down the road and having it do this while I'm going down the road. It's uncomfortable, it's in the back of my mind, and it's driving me nuts. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. And let me say, as far as the expense goes, you know, I didn't spend, other than the install, which was not a lot of money, I didn't spend any extra money on this truck uh, initially for the lift. I took the lift that I had on the other truck and put it on this one. So it's not like I went out spent money to have a lift on this truck as far as the parts go anyway and now i'm ripping it all off and, and going to lose that money that lift served its purpose on the other truck and uh, most likely i'll be doing a giveaway on the channel for that lift once i have it all off and like i said may work fine on your truck you may not need anything else so make sure that you stay tuned for that if you're interested it would be free and at least it's a good place to start out and, uh, and see if it works for you. If it does, it's a pretty darn good deal. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit, let you guys know what's going on. I've been kind of hinting at doing something else with the truck here recently and after finding this and going into a, a shop and talking to them about uh, what I wanted and, and what I was looking to accomplish by changing the setup on the truck. We came up with this. Um, I had seen it on the web a couple of times before, so I was familiar with it when I went in. So it was kind of uh, reassuring, I guess, that the shop I was talking to actually went ahead and suggested this for me as well. The parts are on order. Uh, they should be coming in, I would think, early next week. So hopefully, depending on when this video goes up, of course, um, we'll have the lift or the new lift on a few days after uh, this video airs. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's my story. Anyway, leave a comment down below. A couple of things. One, let me know if you'd be interested in a lift giveaway for what I'm going to take off the truck. It would be a spacer and block uh, lift. And secondly, if you've experienced any of these issues yourself on your truck, if you have a block and spacer lift, I'd be very curious to know. Also, shameless plug time, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out 
when I actually have that new lift put on and you can see what it's like. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.